Hi, we are here in uh, CMT in Stuttgart with Marco Walter, founder and managing director of Eco Camping. We have a few questions for you, so let's start. Okay, thank you. When was Eco Camping uh, launched and with what objectives? We started 25 years ago with eco camping idea at Lake Constance region and at Lago Maggiore with Italian campsites. And the goal is to improve the sustainability in the camping sector. Um, we do it since then very successful. There are more than 200 campsites in the moment uh, following our ideas and be partners. We have a certification uh, for eco camping. Um, it's a management certification with the idea to improve step by step your sustainable performance and to reduce your ecological impact, of course. How are you organized and uh, what is the development level you have reached in these years? Yeah, there are two parts of eco camping. One association, it's based by a lot of German campsite associations, but also environmental associations. And then there is a service company. Um, the service company is doing the consultations, um, also workshops, also marketing for the certifi certified campsites. And um, the development level is, of course, that we are, I think, the first and the most important um, sustainable camping initiative in Europe. Um, because we are working together also with European Commission, with government, with ministries and a lot of stakeholders to go together forward for more sustainability in the camping sector. That's our goal. How many campsites are actually uh, certified or uh, awarded by Eco Camping? Actually, 202 in seven nations. We are not only in Germany, but also in Italy, as I already told, but also Croatia, Slovenia. Um, and now the first Spanish campsite was certified. So the goal is to go further on in Europe. Um, we created an online certification system just in this year. So it's much more easier to get the eco camping certificate. Um, you can do it on demand on the computer and after we check if you fulfill the criteria, we will visit the campsite, of course, and give the certification. So if today you are mainly focused on German and uh, Croatian market and few others in Europe, uh, your, strate your strategy is to grow with this online certification? Yes, of course. Um, our experience was that especially uh, far away campsites could be not easy to go to our certificate because they have to pay, of course, travel costs. And that's a lot of time. And with the online certification system, we reduce the costs for the campsite, but also the ecological costs, because traveling, of course, uses also energy and produces CO2. So it's good for both parts, the campsite and the environment. And that's our goal, of course. And we are very hopefully that we can grow now faster with the online certification system. There is a lot of talks about uh, environmental sustainability in Europe, but are the campsites uh, making a lot of efforts in this direction or not? Yes, I think there are a lot of campsites also outside of the eco camping scheme. Um, they are very high level, they have a good performance, um, they are pioneers, and there are also other um, eco certificates uh, with a good performance. For example, the European eco label for campsites, that's the official one of the European Union is um, available in all countries and we are supporting this label because um, we are also the auditor for this sign and we want to support the politics um, because we are happy that they also introduce uh, the camping sector in this um, official label. What an accommodation facility has to do uh, to obtain your certification? Yeah, the first step is um, to um, how you say, to fill the online certification questionnaire because we want to know what he has already done uh, for environmental but also quality aspects. And then we check um, if this is maybe already enough. If not, 
we make uh, some proposals to go forward on. You see um, eco camping first as an eco management system. That means every campsite can start on the point he already is, but uh, it's important to improve in some aspects like waste management, energy, water, cleaning, also the greening, and all aspects of the campsite should be improved year by year. And the first step is, of course, that we have the first monitoring via the online certification system. Then what we need from every campsite are the consumption data. How many electricity, how many waste, how many warm water, for example, because this is the base to decide where he is in the European benchmark. And after some years, of course, he should be better in these points. The next step is we need a responsibility person, of course. There must someone on the campsite, minimum someone, should be responsible to um, yeah, life this system. Of course, every people of the campsite should go with, but we need a responsible person. And what's very important, there are eco-camping guidelines and the campsite has to sign that he will follow these guidelines. For example, the goal is I want to reduce waste, I want to save water, I want to improve the efficiency of my energy consumption, or I want to clean environmental friendly. All these are goals in the eco camping statement and every campsite in the eco camping signs this statement and put it on the wall on the reception that every guest can see, okay, he is going forward in these points. Guest information, of course, is another important thing um, because the guests are yeah, the most important people, of course, on the campsites uh, to um, decide also can he be green or not. If the guests are going with him, helping him, it's good. And so it's impo important that uh, the campsite owner or the campsite manager and all the people are informing also guests about their goals and how they can help. We have posters and some helping materials for the campsite they can easily use uh, to inform the guests. Is there any practical uh, benefits that campsites with uh, eco-camping certification could have? I think there are a lot of uh, benefits. Uh, the first is uh, that you have a good deep in view uh, to your campsite and uh, the possibilities to improve the situation. Now, for example, uh, we have high energy costs. Okay, in the moment they are going a little bit lower, but energy costs are a big factor of your price calculation, of course. And um, with eco camping, the campsites are much more better um, in the energy situation. So that means they save costs because they produce their own energy, for example, via solar cells. Um, they reduce their dependency from energy coming outside. And that's also uh, yeah, a nice thing, of course, for the stability of the company. To reduce the waste because of good information saves also money and saves the environment. But what we see is that a lot of campsites um, during the consultation process uh, they get some good ideas what they can do to improve their uh, company, to give new offers to the guests and so on. And what's important, um, eco camping is not only working together with every campsite, we are creating or we have created a big network and the campsite owners, they exchange experience within our online workshops, within our yeah, events and so on. And they learn each other and that's like a big family. And it's very nice to see how that works. Talking about uh, the European level, are there big differences between country, countries in terms of uh, sensitivity uh, around the sustainability issues? A good question. Um, of course, we are Germans and uh, we are thinking that we are the best, but I think um, in every country now there is a high um, sensibility about climate protection, climate change, what is necessary. But for example, when we see um, electric uh, mobility as one example, uh, nearly half of all uh, changing, uh, charging stations are in Germany and Netherlands. Um, and 
There are some countries you cannot sh uh, charge your car if you're going for camping with an electric car, for example. And that's a problem. I think um, not only the campsites, but also the countries have to invest because in the moment we have one million electric cars in Germany and in 2030 we will have maybe 50 million and all these cars will go to camping and if they can, can't char uh, charge their cars, they will not come to the country. So that's only one aspect. Um, in Germany, electric mobility and also in Never Netherlands is in the moment uh, very important. But these are the guests for countries like Croatia, Spain, Italy and so on. So you have to invest in charging sta stations. You talked about electromobility. That is a big point. Is there any a different approach between charging cars and uh, thinking to charge the RVs? Uh, we just bought an electric RV, um, Evenster by Pussel, so it's uh, like a small uh, camping camper van. And we did our holiday. Finally, um, we are charging on the highway or in the city because we could not charge at the camping places. Yeah, that really was a problem. Or we had to go uh, to the normal. Um, electricity on the pitch but it's very very slow because of this I am thinking the first step is that the campsites on the ground has to install minimum um, not very fast charging stations but for example 11 ki kilowatt um, performance um, so we can recharge our vehicle overnight that would be very nice because when we arrive the, the vehicle is very low, only 20 kilometer um, distance left and we want to go forward next day and we have to find a charging station outside of the campsite. It's very uncomfortable. I want to charge during the night, of course. If it's necessary to charge the RVs on the pitch itself, difficult to say because there are a lot of investments. But of course, if you have um, motor campers, motor homes, and you have to stay there where you are sleeping, it's necessary to recharge. If you have a small car or a car with a um, uh, caravan, it's possible to give the car outside of your pitch. That's the difference, I think. So thank you for your time. Uh, see you in Conversazioni of Camping Business. Uh, see you next time. Thank you, Paolo. You're welcome. <laughs>